Oi, shipmates. It's a container ship. I know you may be thinking container ships are boring, but they are essential for transporting goods around the world. And here is the Sajir. I'm not sure what Sajir means. I've not been able to find out any information on that. But what I can tell you, Sajir has a capacity of 14,993 TEUs. That's 20 foot equivalent units. Weighing in at 150,000 dead weights. Overall length is 368 meters. So almost approximately the same length as the allure of the seas. Breadth is 51 meters. Speed is 21.2 knots. And power is 37,000 kilowatts. Built in 2014 and registered in Hamburg, Germany. Part of the Harpag Lloyd fleet. There's certainly something interesting about this ship, or if I was to put it more correctly, something interesting to happen soon to this ship. Germany's Harpag Lloyd has booked the Sajirin for an heavy fuel oil to liquid natural gas conversion. The Sajir was acquired in Harpag Lloyd's 2017 takeover of UASC. The project to convert the existing MAN Energy Solutions MEGI engine is booked in for May this year and is expected to take 105 days and to cost $30 million. This will make it the largest container ship engine conversion to date. Anthony Furman of Harpag Lloyd's company affirmed yesterday that the pilot project is completed successfully as expected another 16 large liquid natural gas ready container ships acquired in the UASC takeover are likely to undergo similar conversions. New ships ordered by the company in the future are also likely to be powered by LNG. To comply with the existing fuel regulations and likely new ones in the future, LNG a much cleaner fuel. Even 0.1% sulphur fuel is far in excess of shore regulations for vehicles. So further sulphur oxide regulations are likely in the future. The project should result in carbon dioxide savings of between 15 to 25%, probably in the 25% region. The ship's conversion will mean the loss of about 300 TEUs in cargo carrying capacity, but the conversion is expected to yield substantial benefits both financially and environmentally. Liquid natural gas prices are continuing to fall, Furman pointed out, and may well continue a downward path. The light of today is particularly pleasing and the colours of the containers are vivid and strong. It reminds me of a children's model with lots of ships everywhere. 
never imagined seeing so many ships in one place. Guess it's time for a photo. I think at this rate I'm going to be running out of space on my cabin wall for all of these wonderful shots. Richard von Burschlepp, Hapag Lloyd's managing director of fleet management, stressed the significance of the project. Not only is it the largest engine conversion of any container ship so far, he said, but it will also demonstrate the retrofits are possible. Conversion is complex, despite the fact the vessel is described as LNG ready. Although the MAN engine is ready for retrofit, fuel management, storage and automation all present challenges. The 6,700 cubic meter GTT membrane fuel tanks will be located immediately forward of the engine room, with a bunkering station directly above. The ship will need to take on fuel twice on a round-trip voyage in the company's Far East Loop 4 service between Asia and Europe. Bunkering hubs will be in Shanghai, Singapore and Rotterdam. Harpag Lloyd is funding the conversion itself, without support from the European Union, because the ship is deployed for more than 50% of its time outside of European waters. Certainly not the biggest container ship, but a decent size. Certainly going to be interesting to see what happens to the industry with more vessels converting to LNG. Since the global pandemic, there seems to be no rest in the container ships arriving in the port of Southampton. They certainly seem to be full of containers with goods from overseas. Imagine the space you're seeing now, right in front of the chimneys, is where the LNG tanks will be installed. Thus reducing the capacity of the vessel. I've not read anything that gives me information of the cost savings of running on LNG, but it is reportedly cheaper than heavy fuel oil. Although considering the recent move in oil prices, perhaps this is not so. I think we will leave the Harpag Lloyd Sajir to complete her docking at the container port, which is just at the top of the screen. Until next time, shipmates.